if you want to launch operating system in the AWS cloud. So first thing I suggest, uh, try to select the data center of the AWS cloud that is near to your location. Right now I am located in India and my nearby data center of Amazon would be uh, Mumbai. So I'm selecting this option over here. Okay, this first thing I'm doing. Now, second thing is how we can launch the operating system. So for this, there's a lot, lot of different services Amazon has. Okay, but one of the service name EC2, if you search in the search box, okay, by this particular service or by this particular facility, they give you options to launch the operating system in the cloud. And operating system in the cloud is also known as virtual server and sometimes they also known as instance so i click here in the ec2 services okay and where you will be landed to this particular uh, page that is the portal for ec2 services and by this services we can launch almost any kind of operating system so if you want to launch mac os if you want to launch windows if you want to launch linux and in the Linux, there's a multiple different distribution of Linux. You want to launch CentOS, Ubuntu, Amazon Linux, or Red Hat Linux. So in our case, I want to launch Red Hat Linux. But if you see guys here in my Mumbai region, I don't have any instance running. I don't have any operating system running. So if you want to launch any operating system, so in the top right corner, there's option here called instance launch. Okay, and now here they present you all different kind of OS name, which OS you want to launch and every OS they give you that is called image image. You can think it is like a bootable um, set, uh, setup through which you can launch your operating system. So in my case, I don't want to launch Amazon, Linux, Mac OS or, or Red Hat or Suje, multi, Ubuntu, Windows, multiple different names they have. But in our case, I would like to launch Red Hat version interesting thing is this particular OS they giving you in the free tier eligible so most of the guys has the free tier account that is valid for one year so till that time you can use this operating system free for your use and for your testing so I'm selecting this particular operating system that is also known as AMI I select this okay now if you want to launch the operating system you have to select your hardware means how much ram you have to provide how much cpu you have to provide so there's a multiple different options they have that is called different different instance type okay the different different name they have this code t2 small multiple different name they have with a multiple different combination of ram and the cpu but in our free tier the only free that is eligible for the free is known as t2 micro that is giving you one cpu and one GB RAM. So for our future demonstration that much uh, resources means RAM and CPU is enough for our testing purpose. So I'll just go for T2 micro, but if you select something else, so Amazon will start charging from your debit or the credit card. So I suggest don't select anything else. Just go for T2 micro. That is the only one they give you in the free tier eligible. Okay. I'll click on the next. Now here they ask you how many instance you want to launch instance also known as the operating system and here we are uh, launching red hat linux operating system so how many you need i just need only one and one more option guys they have enabled by default is called auto assign public ip it means uh, after this os launch they give one public ip to you because our os is running in the mumbai we might be uh, somewhere else in some other location or the city. So for connecting this OS, I need some IP over the internet, or I can say to connect this OS right over the internet, I need a IP that is a public IP and they give this IP to us. So technically we don't have to do any change here. Then click on the next here. So you guys know uh, if you want to install any operating system, right? You need some hard disk. Hard disk is also known as storage. So for installing this particular Linux, they are giving us 10 GB hard disk. That is enough for our uh, some of the uh, demonstration in the future, right? So I'll go next. Here you can give your OS a name, whatever name you want to give. So just I'm just clicking tag. So name is uh, let's say I want to give Red Hat 8. 
okay this is, this is the name of the os i want to give you can give any name for your future reference next uh, here they are talk about firewall firewall in the cloud also known as security group it means after they launch who can access this uh, particular uh, os and from where uh, tech, right now guys our initial or our uh, motto is to just connect this os and to do some basic testing on the linux system so we are not right now we're not so much bother about the security and the firewalling so for the future perspective what i'm doing i'm allowing all the traffic so anybody from anywhere try, want to do anything in this os so firewall or security won't stop them so we can connect very easily to this OS and almost everything what we want to do in the future, we can do it. So just change to all traffic. That's all. Next, here they ask you that this is the final review, okay, of your launching your operating system, Linux Red Hat operating system. So there's a review. If you want to change something, there's a direct option here to edit in the right side. So you can go and edit those things, those settings if you want to do. In our case, in my case, I don't want to do any changes here. So finally, I would like to launch my operating system. Now, uh, for launching the operating system, uh, it will be launched. But after the launch, uh, obviously guys, if you want to go inside the OS, means you have to log in. And for login, you need some password. Okay, password is sometime also known as private key or the keys. They are the two different things, but, but nowadays for log into the OS, mostly we need a key that is called private key. Okay, so you, those who don't know about the keys, think keys is like your password. So you have to create your own key. So I don't have right now with me as a new account. So I just go and choose and create a new key pair. Okay, and I'm just giving my key called Linux underscore hash 13 uh, underscore key. It's just a name, you can give your name also. So that is not your password, it's not a key, it is just a name, okay? Or I can say this is the name of the file. But if I click download, this file will create in your laptop and inside this file, you have your own big password or I can say your private key. And this password is very important. In the future, we will use this private key or a password to log in to your operating system. So I click on the download to download this thing. So this particular file, with this same name is this download if you see in my bottom bar it is downloaded in my system and you guys know whenever you download something mostly they download in your download folder so in your download folder in your windows in my case uh, you will find this file and this file contain your private key that is used in the future for logging to this os that's all and now Finally, we have to launch it. An interesting thing is as soon as click in this option, right, wherever you are located, right, you will have one entire Red Hat Linux operating system running on somewhere else hardware. That is the cloud computing companies. In our case is AWS cloud. And now they are, they are saying here, now your instance are in, in the launching state, okay. And every instance, they give you some unique ID behind the scene. So this is the one ID they give you just for their management. If you click on this ID, you will lend it to your EC2 page from where we have started. And what are the name we have given to this OS the come up over here. And because this we have just launched this OS, they are in the pending state. And now uh, AWS is super fast. Within some second, you will say you will see your instance state is up and running means this OS has been launched or started that is also called boot up in the AWS cloud that is in the Mumbai data center. If you want to um, uh, log into this OS, right now I'm sitting in my laptop and from my laptop I want to log in to this OS. How can we log in? And for this they give you option. You have to select this, this option here, tick. And in the top you can see there's one option called connect by this connect option from your laptop you can connect this particular operating system running somewhere okay now aws given us a multiple different choices to connect four different choices they have okay but not all the choices work for every different operating system okay one of the interesting choices is ec2 instance connect very interesting but it won't work for red hat in the aws cloud so Amazon has their own Linux called Amazon Linux. It works for them. But the most commonly way to connect is via SSH client. 
so these are the options we are going to use to connect this os from our laptop and if you click on this option they give you one command okay as an example here what you have to do you just copy paste this command or there's option here to copy click so this is the command they give you okay what this command says from your laptop okay you're going to connect the os they have some name or ip address that's the, they give the name they connect this os internally in this os they create one account for us this called user for us with this particular name okay and for logging to this account we need some password or in our case is key so this is a key they are using that what we have already created and we have downloaded in our download folder and if you want to connect from your laptop, there's a multiple different way to connect to Linux OS. But most commonly way to connect to the Linux OS that is running somewhere else in the world or over the internet or the network, we normally use SSH protocol or SSH client. If you want to uh, connect to this OS that is running somewhere, you just copy this command. Right now I'm in my windows. So I'll just go to my search option here. I'll type C md it will open my command prompt i click open it will give a command prompt of my uh, windows and i paste the command there but before i paste all uh, right what i have to do i have to first go to my download folder okay and if i run the dir command it's like a list command what you will find you will have this particular key available Okay, whatever you created or you downloaded while launching the OS. Okay, so first go to this folder. Just confirm your key is there or not. Is there? And now just copy and paste the command here. So I'm copying this command and doing right click from my uh, mouse. This file command will be copied. Okay, and as soon as I hit enter, I hit enter. Okay, and obviously you have the internet connectivity. So in a second or in a minute what you will find you will be connected to this os i'm just waiting here this os to be connected so guys in my case it take uh, around two to five second right is is again depend upon your network speed also or internet speed also but normally in your case you will say within a one or two second it this option will come up and they said you want to connect continue i say obviously yes and now finally what happened you are you were in your windows operating system that is in your personal laptop and from your personal laptop now you have been landed to or log into one of the linux os and interesting thing is this os is running somewhere in the cloud in the aws mumbai region or i can say in the aws data center and now whatever i want to do in the linux world you can do here so this is the command prop on the linux okay and whatever command you know or you will know you can run here for example one of the simplest command a date command so all the linux command or cal command we can just go and test but but uh, is a is a big world linux is the big world all right whatever you normally you know in the linux okay in any field exactly same thing you can do here so guys just have your instance ready and uh, then just go and practice this one more thing i just want to tell you here is amazon guys charge uh, you per hourly basis or sometimes they charge you per minute basis also what i'm talking about if you launch your instance like if i go back okay my instance is running here if you can go and click on the instances in ec2 so this instance in os is running so Amazon will charge you per hourly and sometimes they charge you per minute basis also. Okay. Even though you are in the free tier account, but in the free tier account, they give you number of hours free. Uh, maybe I just go and you, you guys can again go and check in the free tier. So if you just very quickly check AWS free tier uh, kind of link, you will get some link. They will guide you what they give you free in the free tier. So mostly you might see somewhere around 720 hours per monthly they give you free, right? So just, just go in detail, it will tell you how much they give you free. So what I'm saying here, uh, if you keep on running this OS, okay, and after 720, uh, 720 hours completed in this month, they start charging you from 
there from your debit or the credit card. So highly suggest after you launch this, whatever one practice you want to do, do it. After your thing completed, don't forget to shut it down. So just click, come to this page again, select this particular OS and in the instant state, okay, they, they give the options. Do you want to terminate or stop? If you terminate, it will be completely gone. Whatever things you have done, it will be removed or do you want to stop? So in that case, a stop would be enough because if you stop here, so this OS again, we can start in the future to do the further practice. Okay, so I highly suggest after you done your practice in your respective operating system, uh, don't forget to stop this OS because after you stop, they won't charge you. You can keep this instance in your account almost forever. They won't charge you if it is in stop state, right? So this is one thing. And second thing is, uh, if you guys are very new in AWS cloud, have no, uh, uh, not much idea how the thing work, I suggest don't go to any of the services and don't try to click any things because not everything is free. Okay. So if you do and click something, they, um, after they launch for you, they start charging you in your account. Okay. So this particular things that I show you that is free, you can use that service for free. Okay. By these terms and conditions. Okay. This one thing. And one more thing I just want to uh, tell you, just keep on monitoring your billing account. Okay. So if you see in the top right corner, okay, here they give you a billing dashboard is good practice, especially for the, uh, mostly for the new years, uh, new users It's good practice. Just keep on checking your billing dashboard. Okay, so by chance and intentionally, if something is being launched, uh, you can get the idea they are charging you or not. Okay, but most in the free tier, if you just follow this particular steps I told you, as such, they won't charge you. That's all guys from my side, just launch the OS and powerful thing is from your laptop, you are accessing something on some other resources, other hardware, and you're doing from your laptop and using their resources from your laptop for practicing or implementing your stuffs. Okay. Take care. Now all the best. Bye.